In this question, you have a triangular prism. Its volume is 1,000 centimeters cubed, and you're being asked to find the minimum surface area and the x value for when the surface area is a minimum. So the first step is to get an expression for the surface area. So it's equal to the two ends added together with the three rectangular sides. So I'll start with the rectangular sides. The dimensions are y by x, so there's three of them. So it's going to be 3xy plus, there are two of those, so two multiplied by one half a b sine c. That's not normally a formula used in methods, but it's a good one to know uh, for when you have angles in triangles. And this being an equilateral triangle, you know the angles in each corner are equal to 60 degrees. And so from here, that would be equal to 3xy plus 2 times a half is 1. a and b are x and x, so that's going to be x times x, which is x squared and then sine of 60 degrees. And then you also need to figure out what y is equal to, and that comes from the volume. So the volume is equal to the area of the base multiplied by the height. So the area of the base or the cross-sectional area would be, again, the area of that triangle, which is 1 half a b sine c and that's going to be 1 half times x squared sine 60. So I'm just going to do one more step here. So 3xy plus x squared times root 3 on 2, one of your exact values. So in the volume formula, which is area of base times height, I only want the area of the base, which is one of the triangles. This is this quantity here, which is two of the triangles, or twice the area of one triangle. So what I really want with this is one half of this quantity so I don't have to write these steps out again. So this is just going to be a half times x squared root 3 on 2. x squared root 3 on 2. And the volume you're told is 1000. So 1000 is equal to, so x squared root 3, and I've left the y out here. And this is just the area of the base. So that's the area of the base, and then times by that height y, times y. So from there, y is equal to, so timesing by 4 over here and dividing by that, you get 4,000 on x squared root 3. So 4 times 1,000, 4,000, and then this is going to be on the bottom. So that's the expression for y, which I'm now going to put in here then that becomes 3x multiplied by 4,000 on x squared root 3, and that's plus uh, this one here, x squared root 3 on 2. So this x cancels into that to give x on the bottom, and this root 3 cancels into that 3 to give root 3 on the top, and you end up with 4,000 root 3 over x plus x squared root 3 over 2. And just doing one more step with this, to, so it's a bit more easily differentiable. And so here it's equal to 4,000 root 3 x to the minus 1, and then plus this term. And for a minimum surface area, so surface area minimum when the derivative of S A D X is equal to zero. So letting so finding the derivative first of all and deriving this so minus bring this power down minus one times four thousand is minus four thousand and then root three x to the minus two and then plus and the derivative of this bring that two down the two cancels with that two and you get x root three and then writing this as x root 3 or root 3x minus 4,000 over 4,000 root 3 over x squared. 
and then I'm going to times this term by x squared on x squared, and that's going to give me root 3x cubed minus this, and all of that's over x squared. So I've times that by x squared on the top and x squared on the bottom, then they this term and this term have a common denominator of x squared, and then I write it like that, and then I'm going to let it equal 0. So continuing up here, so let, letting 0 equal all of that. And then all you have to do once you've got it as a fraction like this is just let the top line equal 0, or you could multiply both sides by x squared and you'd end up with 0 equals that top line. So from there, 0 equals root 3x cubed minus 4,000 root 3. And then this would equal that if I add that to the other side. So root 3x cubed equals 4,000 root 3. From there, x cubed equals 4,000 root 3 on root 3. And the root 3s cancel and x cubed equals 4,000, and from there x equals the cube root of 4,000, or 4,000 to the one third, which is approximately equal to 15.874 centimetres, and you would be expected to put centimetres here if that was an exact value that you'd been asked for. So that's the x value when the surface area is a minimum, and to work out the surface area, you need to substitute this x value into the surface area expression, which is this one here. So from there, the surface area equals 4,000 root 3 on x. So this is 4,000 to the 1 third. And then plus x squared. So x is 4,000 to the 1 third, and that's squared times root 3 on 2, and a bit of mucking around to do here. So this 4,000 is 4,000 to the 3 thirds, and when you are dividing by 4,000 to the 1 third, you're going to minus those powers, so you're going to have 4,000 to the 3 thirds minus this bottom power, 1 third. That's just your indices law, and all of that's times by root 3. And then here, squaring that, you just multiply those two powers, so you get 4,000 to the 2 thirds times by root 3 on 2. And that's equal to, so this is 4,000 to the 2 thirds. You could leave your answer like this if you wanted to. 2 thirds times root 3 plus just what I've got here, 4,000. And you could take out a common factor of 4,000 to the power of 2 thirds times by root 3. And in fact, you've got one of these plus that again on the top divided by 2. So you've got a half of one of these. So you've got one and a half lots of 4,000 to the 2 thirds times root 3. So that could be written as 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 root 3 times by 4,000 to the 2 thirds. So that's the exact value in its simplest form, or relatively simple form, and that's approximately equal to 654.674, and it was area, so it's centimetres squared. So that's the surface area, the minimum, when x is equal to that value. And that was what the question asked for. So there's a fair bit of working out for this one. And I hope you can follow the steps. So this is a little bit of a guide. So from this yellow down here, I've come up to here. White step here, I've gone all the way up to here. And then I've just come down here like that. And this thing here, from there I went up to there. So you've got this bit of working here. and all right, so you've got this bit of working here at this point here. I sub the y into this step here. And then from here, I took the derivative. From here, I took the derivative, and that comes down to here. And then letting it equal 0 and solving for x. 
and then working out the actual minimum surface area. So minimum surface area. And again, in this question, you had two variables in the expression for the surface area, x and y. It's easier when you've got only one, or here you've got two lots of x, so and only one y, so it's easier to get y in terms of x, so you can substitute, substitute for that y rather than getting x in terms of y. You could do it, but it'd be more steps than this and more difficult to do. So that's always what you need to look for in this kind of problem. When you're finding a maximum or minimum involving calculus, uh, when you get to this step, look for the one letter, and that's the one you want to get in terms of the other one from that constraint that they give you, which in this case was the volume. So that's the fixed quantity that you were given relating the variables. So that's how you do this question, and I'll see you in the next one.